it's an amazing moment in time that we find ourselves in that none of us have planned for. But history is going to look back to this moment, not just talking about 14 individuals, but talking about 4 million strong in the state of Wisconsin who are standing up for rights, justice, fairness, equal respect for their fellow citizens. They're standing up for the Wisconsin we love, the Wisconsin we know, the Wisconsin we cherish. We're going to continue to stand up and fight for those rights until they are restored. Isn't it amazing that as you watch the course of the news broadcast over the last five weeks, that there was three major events happening in the world until these terrible tragedy and by the way let me let me just let me digress some people call us heroes firefighters are heroes yes. 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 you know you have people who go into a burning building while everybody's coming out they put their lives on the line they're the yeah. true heroes the men and women who put their lives on the line in Afghanistan and Iraq not once but twice but three times those members of National Guard who safely came back to Superior and Hayward and Spooner and throughout northern Wisconsin, they're the heroes. Thank them each and every day for what they've done to represent America. Yes. 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 We, we may, we may, th there are those that have associated that term and I am rather uncomfortable. Anybody that knows me, I'm not, I'm not very comfortable with labels. I'm more comfortable with commitment and dedication and passion to helping our neighbors succeed in life. That's why you're all here. But isn't it amazing that there were three stories prior to that incredible disaster in Japan, where you now have the Fukushima 50 who are truly putting their lives on the line to try to save Japan. But you had the other stories. You had Cairo and Libya. You had Charlie Sheen. <laughs> Why? He looks like Walker. He does. <laughs> and you had Wisconsin. And it's interesting. We were at alternating points in time in the past month, actually the number one story ahead of Libya. And a sign in Egypt, and I understand that there have been people watching in Egypt, and we send from Wisconsin to Egypt our hope that you can embrace democracy as you join us in our attempt to protect democracy. Yeah! I was on BBC a couple of times in the last couple of weeks doing interviews about what was happening here in Wisconsin. And in both of those times, they began the story with a 15-minute segment about the Middle East. And then to show you how important it is for us, they said, now we're going to go to the Midwest. That's how important, that's how essential it is for us to continue this fight. And it is not a fight about unions. It is a fight about workers. It is a fight about basic rights. And when somebody criticizes me or Nick or each of us that somehow these rights are not included in the Constitution, I will remind them that human rights are not included in the Constitution. Right. But workers' rights are human rights by God, and we're going to do everything we can to protect the dignity of the worker in the workplace. Right. Yeah. 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 So when history records all of our time on this earth, you want to leave a legacy of goodness. And you look at history, look back at all of the fight for rights in this country. Never has there been a fight for rights. Never has there been a fight for rights in the course of American history that has been lost. We are going to win this. Yes. Yeah. 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 We're going to win. We're going to win. And the public is on your side. It's the amazing thing that, that struck me throughout this whole experience is that look at the cynicism that the public felt two years ago, a year ago, just November 3rd, yeah. and reflected that cynicism in a vote in which they voted their frustration. <laughs> and today, in a moment of tragedy, you are showing the triumph of democracy by demonstrating your optimism, your sense of goodness for this state, your sense of hope that we can restore that goodness. It is people coming together. This is the Wisconsin Citizen United, and your voice is more powerful than the money that the Supreme Court gave to the corporations of this country, and you will prevail. In every 
is you review your history books and you look at how history records the, those that were on both sides. Show me where they call those who work to eliminate rights heroes. Never have they. So history is going to look back at 2011 and 2010 as the year in which we as citizens are going to be recorded by that history. We're going to be recorded by history as being on the right side of defending rights, the successful side of defending rights, and those who went to resist them are going to be on the wrong side. You have to continue to fight this fight. We are prepared to continue this fight until those rights are restored. We're going to have to do rallies. We're going to have to be involved in recall elections. We're going to have to be involved in that Supreme Court election that is coming up. We're going to have to be involved in informing our neighbors. As I said last week in front of that crowd of 100,000 people, and it was an amazing experience to be surrounded by the face of Wisconsin. You're the face of Wisconsin. You're the people of Wisconsin. You're the middle class. You define the commonwealth that describes the greatness of who we are. You're retirees. You're laborers. You're business people. You're not partisan first, you're people first. You care about your neighbors. The DNA in living in northern Wisconsin is do things to help your neighbor first and foremost. Do what you can to help your community. Do what you can to promote your state. And that's why you're involved in this struggle. Because it is a struggle between, between those who are selfish and those who care about community. And in Wisconsin, community is always going to win. It's on your side. You're going to succeed. This morning, I drove from Poplar to Hurley because there was a party meeting there, and I wanted to make sure that we visited the smaller communities as well as some of the more populated communities. <coughs> and on the way over, I listened to a tape that, that Big Top Chautauqua did when Wisconsin celebrated its sesquicentennial. And it, one of the songs in Under the 30th Star is Walking in Milwaukee. Because those of you who understand labor history in Wisconsin know that Wisconsin is the birthplace of the yes. union movement That's in America. Right. Yeah. That's right. yeah. And we are not going to allow Wisconsin to be the tombstone of union rights. No. But that song, Walking in Milwaukee, was walking in Milwaukee for an eight-hour day. So those who wish to condemn those who stand up for workers ought to remember that it was in the early part of the last century when corporations and banks and railroads ran roughshod over the people, ran roughshod over the middle class. We are reenacting that period of time. Bob LaFella helped bring back the progressive movement. You're part of that progressive movement to restore Wisconsin to the values and the kind of state that we love so much. People have said, what can we do to make a difference? Spread the word. One of the things you can do is thank a teacher. Hug a teacher. And most importantly, be a teacher. And you take your commitment, your energy, and you take a pebble of that energy and you throw it into the pond called Wisconsin. And you let the ripples go far and near to 50 people more. And when you had 100,000 people in Madison and you throw it out to 40 and 50 people more, you have a movement of 4 million people who are walking with you. This is more than 14 people. It is about 4 million people who are going to take their government back and restore it to the values that make us proud to be Wisconsin citizens. Yeah. I'm going to take a, I'm going to just take a brief moment to thank my wife. Yes! Yes! Because my wife endured more abuse, and I want to thank Nick's wife for what she does each and every day. In public life, the family has visitation rights, the public has ownership. And that's part of the sacrifice. But in the last month, my wife took more terrible phone calls, was called more, more nasty names than all of you put together in a lifetime. 
and I will tell you where most of them came from. Most of them didn't come from Poplar. They didn't come from Hayward. They didn't come from northern Wisconsin. They're good people up here. Yep. Yep. They, 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 some of them are Republicans, and they're good people. That doesn't make them a bad person. No. There are many Republicans, by the way, that think that what Governor Walker did was dead wrong. Yeah. 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 And so when you, when you, I'm, I'm sure you're doing this today, you are protesting against a policy that hurts Wisconsin. You are making a statement that you want to help Wisconsin. You are not condemning those of a different point of view. And you are bringing respect and civility to the moment. Remember how the Tea Party acted two years ago where they did disrupt the democracy. You're giving a voice to democracy. You're giving respect to democracy, civility democracy. And you're finally stepping up and fighting back in a way in which the rest of the country is watching us and emulating everything that we are doing. These fights don't get over in a day. They wanted to end these rights in five days, which is why we had to leave Wisconsin. And we had to leave Wisconsin in order to illuminate the issues and give the public an opportunity to understand what was at stake. To give you your voice back, you have used that voice with passion to change the debate. And while they won through an abuse of power that in the dark of night, in daylight, you are eliminating the truth. And you are, they, they may have won that vote, but they lost in the eye of public opinion. Yes. And it is important for you to spread the word, show the respect, and pass this moment on to our children. This is not just a, genera a, a, a movement of a few selfish individu individuals. This is an intergenerational movement in which our young children are as actively engaged as we are. This is their Martin Luther King moment. This is their civil rights movement. This is their time when they understand what it means to be we the people. This is their civics lesson. And just as many of us were motivated by John F. Kennedy and asked not what your country could do, but what you can do for your country, you are answering the call. You are answering the call and you're passing on the message to young people who will continue to pass on that call to not just their generation, but their children's generation too. The Civil Rights Movement didn't begin or end with a great speech on the Mall. I Have a Dream was a speech that certainly resonates to this day. And we all know the word. That is the voice of the people. But just like that moment with Abraham Lincoln, the Gettysburg Address, didn't end the Civil War, but it defined the strength and the courage that it takes to end struggles that divide people. I don't know why we have a governor that seems so insistent in dividing its citizens, because frankly I've always served with governors who want to unite the citizens. Well, we are united, we are committed, we are dedicated, and as Abraham Lincoln said in Clinton, Illinois, a place I went to two Saturdays ago, I was in Clinton, Illinois, that happened to be one of the locations of the famous Lincoln-Douglas debates. And in the square where those debates occurred, there's a statue of Lincoln, and underneath the statue there's a quote from Lincoln. And he said, stand by the man that is right, when he is right, for as long as he is right. And then depart him when he is wrong. Well, we departed Wisconsin because they were wrong. We are now back in the state and joining with you because we are right. And that right. rightness will prevail when these rights are restored. Thank you. Yeah.